For a long time, we've been asking what goes on inside the building, how many people are working there, and what exactly are they making? Well, now we have some answers. Now, they're not the whole picture because of how Tesla actually restricted our first look inside that plant. But we followed their rules today because you, as a viewer, deserve to know about the plant that got $750 million of your taxpayer money. Two on your sides, Melissa Holmes was able to take a tour of the plant and ask the tough questions. Tour inside here is very restrictive. Our cameras aren't even allowed to go inside. The video that you're going to see is video that they're providing to us. The people that we're talking to are people that they're providing to us. We can't talk to just anyone. So I'm going to go inside now and I'll report back on what I'm allowed to learn. This sprawling 1.2 million square foot factory in South Buffalo is the centerpiece of Governor Cuomo's Buffalo Billion. It was supposed to be a game changer in western New York. Now this week, Tesla tells us it is on track with its hiring requirement. In fact, it said it's doing better than expected. Tesla says the state required it to have 500 people working in the factory by April of 2019. Tesla now says it has 800 workers there. Half of them work for Tesla and half Panasonic. This is the video that they provided. But what I saw inside was more robots and automated machines than actual people working in the factory. And still, there was vast amounts of empty, unused space. Tesla promises it'll be filling up that space soon. So what exactly are they manufacturing in there? Well, Tesla says since the end of 2017, they've strictly been making solar roof modules. Tesla glass panels with Panasonic solar cells sandwiched in between, essentially solar shingles. They tell me it's taken so long to ramp up production because they just wanted to get it right, that they look good, that they work efficiently, and that they protect the roof. So who's working there? Well, some are skilled tradespeople. Others have no degree or work experience. And when I asked, they estimated as many as 90% of the workers are from Western New York, two of whom they allowed to speak on camera. Alex Finnerty of Lockport, who's worked here seven months, and Corey Leone, an electrician who started working here after he was laid off from the Huntley plant in Dunkirk. That was old, archaic technology that is old and outdated. The future is what we're doing here, is in my opinion. It's amazing uh, how the product works. It's, it's definitely a great place to work. People are happy to be here. People are excited to grow with the company, and you don't always get that. Now, if you want to have your roof torn off and have one of these installed by Tesla, you can only buy one online or go to a Tesla store, and the closest is near New York City. And they wouldn't tell me how much an average roof costs. It depends on how big it is, the pitch of the roof, and how much solar power you want to get. And by the way, you would also probably need a battery backup if you want to get enough power to heat your home in a Buffalo winter. They say there's a ton of demand and there's a backlog of people waiting to get these roofs installed, but they wouldn't tell me if they've installed a single one here in Western New York. You can see what's being made in this building by looking at this home. Those are the solar panel modules, those shingles being made right here. And Tesla says it is committed to ramping up production and the number of employees in Western New York, and it's committed to this factory. Melissa Holmes, Channel 2 News.